Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I want to read another incredible and really adorable success story from one of my clients. She had broken up with her specific person, and I'll get more into the details about this back in 2021. So it was literally, I believe, over a couple years before she even heard from him or saw him. I will I will get more into the details when I read her email. This video is intended to inspire all of you guys not to give up, to trust in your heart and soul, and to drop all of the friggin' circumstances and limiting beliefs, and to stop constantly reaffirming exactly what you don't want, the old story, by repeating it over and over and over again under videos, by constantly ruminating about it in your mind, by just constantly questioning yourself, please understand this. The desire is already done. It's literally already created. You do not need to see proof and evidence in your reality because the very need to constantly see proof of it is going to keep it away because when you're constantly observing the lack of it, you are constantly manifesting the lack of it. I love you so much, so I say this with love. That is the key that many of you guys almost like you're refusing to do. It's like, well, that's a limiting belief. I don't have to stop doing these things in the 3D. It's a limiting belief to think that I can't stock them online and that I can still have everything that I want with them. Okay, is that limiting belief serving you? It's not. So just stop the behavior already. It's kind of like an addiction. Just stop it. Go cold, go cold turkey. Let the withdrawal symptoms leave your system. Stay completely truthful, faithful, loyal. Stick to your decision that you make first thing in the morning of the end of you and your person being together or you having the finances that you want, having the opportunities that you want. Be the best version of you. Make the decision in the morning who you are and stick to it. And that way, the things that you're desiring can stick to you. Okay, so I'm going to read this. And I know for a fact, it's going to be so inspirational So for many of you guys. And you're going to end up in union just by watching this video because you're going to feel into this, okay? Before I get into this, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you love my content, if you want me to be your coach, email me a short description to kim at coreunion.com. I will reply back. Excuse me. No, I won't. We will reply back to you with my next available after you've booked at my website, coreunion.com. You can do a single or a package. Most people do prefer the package. So this is what she wrote to me. And I'm going to add on a little to my memory because she left out some of the most adorable details that I just think that this is one of the cutest success stories that I've I've read to date. She wrote, hi, Kim, as promised, I'm sending you a summary of what has been unfolding so far between me and my specific person with the intention that this may help anyone who is manifesting anything. And that's correct. Remember that it doesn't matter whether it's love with your specific person or money, health, opportunities of all different kinds. It is literally and truly all the same because it is you being who you feel deep down in your heart and soul, you deserve to be. Quick background story. My specific person and I met September 2019 and started dating in February of 2020. Back then, I had just gotten out of a relationship and was definitely not in the state, in the right state to start a new healthy relationship. My specific person reflected that to me perfectly. We had a friends with benefits type of relationship where he would come over to my place, spend a few days with me, and then disappear again for days. Now, remember, even back then when she believed she was in a, um, in a relationship of friends with benefits, that's how she was, that was her limiting belief back then. That was her assumption and manifestation that she was experiencing back then, because that's who she was back then. It's just really important to point that out. Okay, let me just, beneath all of the unlovely behavior though, I could always sense his true, sweet, loving nature. This was what I fell in love with. I found out about the law of assumption a few months into our relationship, and I started visualizing us together in a happy relationship. While I did see a change in his behavior, he had fallen in love with me. 
I still ended up manifesting my biggest fear of him leaving. I realize now this was because I was doing all the techniques from a state of lack and the need to change reality to get love from the 3D. I was not changing who I was being. He broke up with me for the third and final time in March of 2021. I had been trying to manifest him back since then. He would message me every couple of months since then just to see how I was. That's what will always happen. They'll always come back just to see basically, you know, this is this is that thing that he's always, he is you basically in another body. He's the one that's made to love you. So every once in a while, there's going to be a check-in. Okay, let me just go back here. Doesn't mean that the check-in is always going to be favorable, by the way, either. Okay. Many times, oh no, hold on. You're going to kill me because I'm not going to edit this. He would just say a few words and then nothing more. I tried everything over the years. Many times I tried to move on and then I would give up, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. I knew he was my one and I couldn't be with anyone else. One day I discovered your channel and all your teachings resonated with me so much that I booked our first session and that was on February 13th of this year. We had two more sessions after that. I followed everything you taught me to a T. One day towards the end of May, I was trying to decide between staying at home and going for a walk. I ended up deciding to go for a walk because it was such a beautiful day. Inspired action. As I was walking, I noticed my SP's car parked 50 meters from my place. As I walked past it, I heard his voice call my name. I turned around to see him stepping out of his car to come say hi to me. I love this so much because now looking back at this now after yesterday's session, like this is even more meaningful. We chatted for a bit. Then he asked me if it was okay that he come over for tea and continuing chatting there at my place. We went back to my place and continued to chat and catch up. As he was leaving, he gave me the biggest hug. That was the first time in three years that I had heard his voice and held me and held in my arms and held him in my arms. So that was three years. Then we met, we had a few sessions. She went deep into it. She followed everything to a T without being stubborn about it. And then her SP was parked outside of her place, called out her name, asked if we could have tea. They go to her place, chat, and they're holding, they get to hold each other. From that day onwards, every time I got triggered, I would tell myself that this is showing me what I don't want. I would thank it and assume the awareness of being in the reality that I preferred and deserved. Since the past two to three weeks, he sends me a good morning message. We chat the whole day and with each other. And then we say, uh, wish each other a good night. He also came over a few more times as well. The last time he was here, we kissed. I'm going to add here because this was adorable. There was another time where he reached out to her and he said he was going over to a friend's house and asked if he could come over for a soda. She said, of course, they ended up, he ended up coming over. There was, they had soda. They spent a little time chatting. He left supposedly going to over to his friend's. Another time happened, and I don't know how much time apart this is, but it's not like far, far, far apart, where he said, I'm going to be in your area again over my friend's house. Can I have, if you have a soda, but this time an unexpired one, like I'll come over again. So it was kind of just a cute and funny thing. He goes over again. They visit each other. They have a soda. He goes to leave, they hug and stuff. They go, he goes to leave and he leaves his bag and glasses and stuff. And then she hears him make a comment, something like, oh, of course, like I need my, I need to leave this here so I can have another excuse to come and see you. Then they end up, I believe, having one more of these visits, I believe. And it's so hot that this could have been the same visit. I'm not sure. It's so hot. This is so hot funny. We were cracking up when she was telling me this. It's so hot that he literally ended up just taking his shirt off <laughs> and taking his pants off and sitting on the sofa. And he makes some sort of a funny comment and laughs and said something like, Hey, so 
you know, do you want to like, you know, whatever, if he said like make love or something like that. And they just laughed and they, they didn't end up doing anything. That could have been the time when they ended up kissing. I'm not sure. So I just wanted to add that detail because those, those little chains of events were adorable. So now I'm going to keep going. I am absolutely amazed at not just the unfolding of the events, but at the speed of it. While I know that I'm not yet in my end, I am also aware that I'm in the unfolding now and that reaching my end is inevitable. Guys, just listen to Kim and follow her teachings. It is absolutely true that when you move, they move. They are literally moving, or excuse me, mirroring your consciousness back to you from my perspective because we are sharing the same consciousness. You and your SP, your mirror soul, your twin soul, whatever label you want to call it, me and my SP, my mirror soul, Hana, we're sharing the same consciousness. We're in different bodies. But if 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 I'm in fear and then he reflects fear back to me, I need to go within, heal from that fear. It doesn't have to be like a lifelong healing journey. Release it and let it go and feel safe. And then when I can feel safe and let my walls down and I truly, truly feel safe, I'm not trying to force it, then, you know, my honey will be able to feel safe too. But until that, okay, well, it is what it is. We're mirroring. If you want the reflection to change, you have to change the contents of your mind. Love yourself through your triggers and let them show you your preference. I'm sorry that this ended up being such a long email. Are you kidding me? This is wonderful. But there is just so much to share. Love you, Kim, and thank you from the bottom of my heart for being who you are and for appearing in my reality. Now, this is the part, and thank you so much. This is the part that actually she didn't email me either. Remember when I was telling you guys how he was saying, could I come over because I I want to go visit my friend? I'm going to go visit my friend who lives near you. He ended up confessing to her that his friend actually wasn't even in the city. So every time that he was there, he was simply there to see her. That was literally his entire purpose and objective. Okay. All right. And so now she's in the beautiful unfolding of it. And she knows she's not in her end yet, but she is going to continue to persist. One of the things that she made sure, and I think I mentioned this in her, in her writings was, I don't know if actually we mentioned this, but if so, I'm not going to edit this anyway. She did one of the things that I mentioned a excuse me, in one of my videos where she looked at his picture and she chose to see him with the love from God's eyes. So in other words, when she was looking at his picture before, she was always getting triggered. It was that analogy that I gave of like that you're putting a scary filter over your person's face and they're representing fear to you. They're representing being hurt to you. So you want to look at that picture and feel and sense and know who they truly are. See their divine nature. See them from the love of, from that love of God, the way God sees them. See yourself the way God sees you, okay? So there's really not much more for me to say about this video. I know for a fact that it definitely shifted many of you guys and it's inspired many of you guys. You can't trick yourself. You can't trick God universe source. You need to just go in and whatever techniques resonate with you, the techniques are just simply to keep you and get you into a state of trust and in love so you can feel safe and secure and accept it and allow it. I can help you if you want. Just reach out if you need me. Affirm down below that you know this love, this life that you deserve with all of the money, the health, the finances, the love, the security, the marriage, the home, whatever it is that you want. It already exists or you simply would not be able to desire it. Allow it and accept it to happen. I love you so much. Wow, I just made everything shake. Sorry about that. Reach out if you need me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come, nothing can come between us.